Back in the day, it was always clear, Intel had the best gaming CPUs hands down, but that's changed. In fact, in many cases, AMD CPUs are more powerful than Intel and at a much lower price. Additionally, with so much negative press surrounding Intel as of late, you've probably clicked this video looking for someone to answer the question, which is the better CPU for gaming, AMD or Intel? As we know, the CPU, often called a processor, and GPU, often called a graphics card, are the two most important parts of a gaming computer, and if you have a bad CPU, it can ruin your gaming experience. So you definitely want to get a good one and not waste your money. Well, you found the right video. By the end, you'll have an answer and know which one is right for you. So why is a CPU important? In my opinion, a good CPU is even more important than a graphics card. As you might know, a graphics card runs games, but it's really only active when you're gaming. When you're not gaming, it's kind of useless. But a CPU, it's for everything. It controls many important aspects when you're gaming, but it also controls the speed of things like Google Chrome or Microsoft Word or other programs. It's also how fast your computer will load, start, and basically how fast it does everything. It's the brain of your computer, and biggest of all, if your CPU isn't strong enough, your graphics card won't be able to run at its full speed. This is a big problem we see. Many gamers want to spend all the money on an expensive graphics card and get a cheap processor, but when the processor cannot keep up with the graphics card, your graphics card will run much slower and not be able to reach its full potential. That means you just wasted a whole bunch of money. This is called a CPU bottleneck. Picture on screen here showing that. Now that we know why a good CPU is so important, let's talk about which one is better, AMD or Intel. Performance. The most important part of this review is the performance. Which brand is better, AMD or Intel? Well, it gets complicated. Let's take a look at both AMD and Intel's best gaming CPUs. The best AMD gaming CPU is the Ryzen 7 9800X3D, and the best Intel gaming CPU right now is the i9-14900K. Credit to testing games here, where we tested both of these processors head-to-head -head in Cyberpunk 2077, a very demanding and popular game. Link in description to his video. On average, in both comparisons, the AMD chip comes out ahead by nearly 10 whole frames per second in every category. That's pretty insane. But AMD being the pure winner here isn't the simple answer. Or is it? You see, those CPUs I just told you actually aren't the best CPUs for each brand. Well, they kind of are. But you see, I gave you the most realistic gaming CPUs at a good price, but there are even better processors from both sides, but the price to performance drops massively. You really only get these if you're really looking to waste money or need it for your business. So the true best processor from Intel is the Intra Ultra 9 285K, and the true best processor from AMD is the Ryzen 9950X. So the truth is the best ultimate CPU for performance is Intel. Look at this video, but it's just by a tiny 1-2% margin. The Intel one is the best processor processor at the end of the day. So you might be asking yourself, well Tommy, what are you talking about? Why are you still recommending me to get AMD? Well, price and power consumption is the problem. Let's compare the top of the line CPUs we just mentioned. The Intel 9 285K goes for about $590 and the Ryzen 9 9950 goes for $590. So those are the same, but let's compare the price of the gaming CPUs from earlier, the ones I said had a much better price per performance. So the AMD 9800X3D has an MSRP of $479 but the worst performing Intel chip, the 14900K, is a recommended MSRP of $590. That's over $100 more for a worst performing chip. That's not all the problems though. Intel has significantly more power consumption than the AMD chips. While you might just brush this off like I did when I bought my Intel chip this year, it's actually a very important problem for your computer. First of all, the higher the power consumption is, the more heat the chip makes. Intel chips run significantly hotter, making it so you need to fork over more money for a stronger processor cooler. Additionally, the higher the power consumption, the more expensive power supply unit you need in the computer and the more money you pay on your electricity bill. Well, the AMD chip, the Ryzen 9800X3D, has a power consumption of only 120 watts at max, with an average of 75 to 100 watts between gaming. The Intel one has an awful power consumption. At max use, it can draw almost 250 watts meaning it has almost triple the power consumption of the AMD chip on average, and even when the AMD chip is under load, the Intel chip will still use double the power. This creates a ton of more heat and other problems in the system. You've probably heard of the recent controversy where Intel chips were literally destroying themselves. Many suspect this to be a problem with the high power consumption spiking randomly, but the official verdict isn't clear yet. So Tommy, is AMD just the hands down winner? So at this point, AMD is cheaper, better or same performance, and way less power consumption and heat. So is Intel just a bad 
choice for processors. Believe it or not, Intel processors actually have some strengths. But for this video that focuses on gaming, not exactly. AMD Ryzen CPUs right now are hands down the best for gaming. But while Intel isn't bad at gaming, they have the strength of being the best processor for video editing and other intensive application use like Photoshop, 3D modeling, and things like software engineering at home. For me, video editing, obviously watching this YouTube video, Intel chips are much faster at video editing than AMD chips. An Intel CPU might make more sense for a business or if you have to use a lot of programs that interact with things like video editing, production with things like 3D printers or graphic design, and other software needs. Take a look at this graph, thank you Technopanda. He shows that in video editing, the way cheaper Intel chips knock the most expensive AMD chips out of the ballpark. It's not even close in these comparisons. The Intel chips are much cheaper and doing a lot more work than the most expensive AMD chips in these uses. The conclusion. So when it comes to just picking a CPU for gaming, AMD is the best hands down. Being way cheaper, drawing way less power, creating less heat, and being way more powerful, AMD Ryzen CPUs are hands down the best for gaming. But if you have the need to use video editing, Photoshop, or other software development related things, the Intel CPU might be a better bet for you as it excels compared to AMD in those tasks. Ultimately though, it seems Intel has really fallen from grace, and the news reflects that with a ton of stock price falls, leadership changes, and the general controversy. When I started PC gaming, it was always a joke to have an AMD CPU, they were awful back then, and it's crazy to see how the tides have turned. My opinion, Intel for a long time had poor leadership and didn't create stronger processors because AMD wasn't really a real competitor and they thought they had nothing to worry about. That was a big mistake. Then when AMD created these insanely good chips, they had no backup plan and were already so far behind. I really wish Intel figures it out because competition is good for everybody, and that makes it so you and me get better products. There was a long time for years where processors just didn't get better because because Intel didn't do anything and there's nobody challenging them. Regardless, in early 2025, AMD processors are your best bet for gaming and it looks like it'll be like that for a while. Tell me in the comments below which processor do you have and which team are you on, AMD or Intel? I'm Tommy from Vectech, a PC gaming channel. Subscribe if you want more PC gaming news. I'd love to have you part of our team.